USA and Soviet Union were racing to space to see who is cooler. Soviet Union was winning since they sent first artificial satellite, first man and first woman to the space. So the United States were like, OK, folks, we need to speed things up. And they planned 20 Apollo missions. The last few were cancelled as they ran out of money, so only 17 missions left. The first one was a catastrophic failure. It was such a big failure that number two and three were cancelled. Number four to six had no men on board. OK, Apollo number seven. It was the first successful manned mission of the Apollo program. The crew spent 11 days in the low Earth orbit doing all the testing Apollo 1 supposed to do. On top of that, they were broadcasting a live TV transmission from space that was so popular that the crew was given an Emmy Award after they returned. Apollo 8 was the first crewed spacecraft to leave low Earth orbit, fly around the moon and return. Apollo 9 was a preparation for moon landing, showing that the crew can fly it independently. Apollo number 10 was the final rehearsal before the moon landing. It orbited the moon 31 times. It also set the record for the highest speed attained by a crewed vehicle. Two, one, zero, all engines running. Apollo 11 was the first one to land on the moon with a famous quote. Not that quote, this quote. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Apollo 12 was the second mission to land on the moon. The crew carried color TV camera with them to the lunar surface, but the transmission was lost after one of the crew members pointed the camera at the sun and the camera sensor was destroyed. Apollo 13 meant to be the third manned mission to land on the moon, but the mission was aborted after an oxygen tank failed two days into the mission. The crew instead looped around the moon and returned safely to Earth. After the incident with number 13, Apollo 14 was postponed for a year. It still had some technical issues, but fortunately it managed to do the successful moon travel. Apollo 15, and we have a scandal. What happened? The crew took with them to space around 400 unauthorized space covers and later they sold them as a space cards. NASA wasn't happy about it, so the crew Spanish but not taking part in Apollo 17 missions when they were supposed to be a backup team. Apollo 16 mission did a lot of research and collected lots of samples. Around 100 kilograms of lunar rocks was brought back to Earth. Apollo 17 was the last of Apollo missions. It set several records for the longest moon landing, the longest moonwalk, the largest lunar sample, the longest time in lunar orbit, and the most loops around the moon, which in this case was 75. That's all about the Apollo mission, but not all about the moon travel. The Artemis program is set to bring people again to the lunar surface in 2024. I wonder when we will go to Mars. That's all folks, thanks for staying till the end and stay tuned as more is coming every Monday on Quick Science.